I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is an answer to the question of which Nespresso capsules have the most caffeine. So if you're looking to caffeinate with these capsules, um, which one is the best one to use? And we're looking at the uh, original line capsules in particular, um, not the virtual ones that are bigger. So in the original line, um, there's a couple of different uh, styles. And in general, these are going to have um, somewhere between 55 and 65 milligrams of caffeine per capsule. Um, that's about half of what you would find in a, a typical cup of brewed coffee. So if you make two of these at an espresso strength, um, you're going to end up with basically the equivalent caffeine of one cup of drip coffee. Now um, that's the standard and that's going to be most of these capsules. Um, one step up from that are their city capsules. So that would be Tokyo, Vienna, Cape Town, Stockholm. These are um, specifically uh, kind of tailored to particular cities or styled for a particular city. Those have a bit more caffeine, usually around 77 to 85 milligrams. So there we're starting to approach the level of um, kind of like a smaller brewed coffee. And I should note that uh, different brewed drip coffees have wildly different amounts of caffeine, but a standard is sort of somewhere between 90 and 200 milligrams for a cup, um, and uh, or a typical, you know, serving that you would get in a coffee shop. Um, so I'm gonna go with, you know, somewhere around 120 to 150 uh, for a typical brewed coffee. These are still gonna be less, even those more powerful capsules. But the absolute winner, it turns out there is a winner, is the uh, Palermo Cazar capsule. And that has 125 milligrams of caffeine. So almost as much, uh, in some cases as much as a drip coffee. And I was not able to actually locate those, but if you're able to track them down, that is the strongest, most caffeinated uh, Nespresso capsule out there. It's a black color um, and uh, you can brew those and get the most caffeine bang for your buck, but you could also brew a couple of these more standard. Again, uh, two of these is gonna be about equivalent to a typical drip coffee. Um, and uh, they're 55, 65 milligrams of caffeine. I should also note that you can get decaf capsules. In fact, they don't have zero caffeine. They have about three milligrams or less. So almost all the caffeine has been removed from those decaf capsules, um, but you still get a tiny, tiny bit. Um, so seek out, if you can find it, I couldn't, but if you can find the Palermo Cazar, if you really want to caffeinate, otherwise go for those uh, specific city coffees that I mentioned, um, or just brew a couple of your uh, traditional ones here um, to get the equivalent of a cup of drip coffee.